Right then, here we are. Been sat here for about 45 minutes with headphones on my head and no sound coming out of them. So where are we gonna go? We're gonna go over. Let's see if we can find it manually without typing it in. Um, um, let's type it in. That is where we're going. Looks like it might be an interesting place. Also, it looks as though they used the clone tool from Photoshop on the edge right here on the beach. Don't know if you can tell. Don't know if you're familiar with Photoshop, let alone the clone tool. I wonder why this place right here was chosen to be the uh, pinpoint area. But yeah, anyway, these guys have parked on the grass. What is that about? Grant's Gardens. Gulf of Mexico Drive. That reminds me, do you remember when we went to go visit Mexico and it wasn't actually Mexico, it was a state? New Mexico? That was fun. What is that? It's a person on a bike. No, that right there. Is it something to do with fire hydrants? Is it something to do with fire trucks? Is it something to do with water? I'm pretty sure it might be, but I also don't know, so maybe I should skim past it. Right, so the beach is over on that side. Why are we even even be able to blah? Why do they even allow you to come into this here? This is private property. No trespassing. But the Google vehicle decided to go into here, so I'm not too sure what that's about. What does that say? For longboat terrace residents only. Could you imagine the Google car pulling into your driveway? Let's keep on, can we, oh, we can go into here as well. And we have a flag, did you see that? Was it too fast for you? Of love. It's weird that these Google vehicles, I do find it kind of odd that these Google vehicles, vehicles, I can't speak today, what the f Got to take off my jumper because I'm kind of warm and it's inhibiting my ability to speak. All right, so we should be able to go into there and we can. Let's see what sort of cars are in this area because that is what I like checking out sometimes. For some reason, Lexus, Mustang, we have a Honda and one of these. Do you know what this is? It's a Chrysler. No, it's not. It's a Cadillac. What is that? That looks like a turbo. Is that for gas? Is it? FDC 5380, what does that mean? Why would somebody have a sticker of sandals on their car? I'm not impressed. Totally not impressed. Almost thought that right there said BMX. Can we go into here? No, we can't because it's private property and you're not allowed to go in there. But we could go into the other ones and for some reason we can go into here. And uh, I'm assuming we could go down here as well, which we can. Seems a little unusual. When you get hail the size of golf balls, it's good to park your car under something like this. Oh yeah, seeing as though we're here, what I'll do now is I'll check out the weather for this place. And here we have it. 29C right now, and in Fahrenheit that is 84. Seems to be about as rainy as it is where I am, only 15 degrees warmer. It's currently 14 degrees Celsius. Should be about 18 degrees Celsius where I am tomorrow, so people might be out in their shorts. Then again, judging by the app on my phone, it looks as though it's going to be raining, so people will not be out in their shorts. I definitely won't be until it reaches about 25 degrees Celsius. Right, well anyway, so far this has been a straight road that just seems to uh, not want to end. So what I'll do is I'll zoom out and see if there's anything interesting that I can see. There's a few sort of channels right here where boats seem to be going kind of amazed that there are houses around here. That does surprise me quite a bit. Pretty sure in a few years this is all going to be underwater. When I say few years, I mean about maybe 20. Just a guess. I don't know for sure because I'm not psychic. Although I can sort of... Well, I'm not going to get into that. Are we able to go over to here? Let me click this. Oh, it's already clicked. Right, so we can only go where the blue bits are. Oh man, we can't even check out any of these areas. But we can have a look over here. Let's go over to this and take a look over to the left. I wonder if this place is ever flooded or how often it floods. Shall we have a look at some flood pictures? They're always interesting. And I'm pretty sure I say that every time. Right, so here we have some flooding going on. And uh, warning, high water. Just, uh, I'm not going to play this just in case because you never know. What is that on? 360? Wow. How about some Google images instead? Thought that was Doug DeMuro then. Brilliant! Just about every place floods, I guess. 
I would have thought this would be a little worse, but um, turns out it's not really that bad. Anyway, back to this, Buttonwood Drive. So yeah, judging by the trees and like vegetation and stuff, it seems like a very tropical place and the people are very tan. Right, so take note of all these trees. You see these trees? See how like sort of normal they look? Yes, look at that. That's different. It sure does stand out a bit, doesn't it? A dozen tits. And right here we have a red pickup truck underneath this slightly odd bendy tree, which seems to be bent over and doing a bunch of stuff. I've seen a few of these Lexus vehicles about. I've cut quite a few of them out of the video, but um, I'm pointing this one out. By the way, that is a Lexus GS. Right, let's go down to this side. What does that say? Does that say Beer Can Island? Yeah, it does. Beer Can Island. Cook me up some beer can. That's how you say bacon in Jamaican. All right, so what we'll do is let's see where we... Oh, we can explore the beach. Let's explore the beach then. See what that's about. Pretty sure it's full of sand. And it is. Surprise, surprise. Right, so what does that say? No jumping. No pushing. No swimming... Uh, no diving. Right. No swimming within 15 feet. Well, the sand looks nice. Right, well anyway, let's get off the beach because we all know what beaches look like unless you've never been to a beach and you live in a landlocked place. Landlocked meaning there is nothing but land around you. In which case you only know what a beach looks like through the internet, so sorry. Then again, if you're watching this, you have Google, so not sorry. Free boat tours. Hmm. I would like to tour a boat, please. So what would you do? You go there and they show you around a boat. Hmm. Cold cappuccino. He's drinking a cappuccino. He must be gay. I like big trucks and I don't know why. One day I'm going to get one of these. Something like this. Maybe not a GMC, but something similar. Because I like, I like big trucks. And I don't own a big, never, I've never owned a big truck. Also, I want one of these. Also, I want a Corvette and a Lamborghini and a Ferrari. I've actually owned a Koenigsegg. No, I'm lying. I've never owned anything of the sort. Actually, I don't really wish to own any of those. Lexus. That's a nice looking hoose. Is it for sale? Oh, it's for sale. Nice. Reed Murphy. And here we are on the guy's website. So, uh... Only two houses for sale. That's a little strange for an estate agent. Relax, you deserve it. Not if you're a lazy SOB. I think one of those houses on that site was about two million, so that's about 100,000 out of my budget. So this, however, is a strange looking house. It looks like something out of a cartoon, out of a uh, slightly sci-fi cartoon, slightly disturbing sci-fi cartoon. You could imagine this coming to life and eating everybody, which is, um... shall we keep moving? Wait a minute, did I just see something that I shouldn't have seen? 666. Very nice. Let's have a look at the house. Alright, so it's that one right there. This is number 666. These guys over here have a tennis court. There's a house near me that's got a tennis court, but um, I can't really show you that on the maps. Because then you will know where I live. And I'm not prepared for that. I mean, I like you, but I don't like you that much. Right, so let's head over to this place, please, please. What is happening with my voice? Slow children at play. Right. First of all, they've got white roofs, which is pretty cool. Literally, because white reflects sunlight. So, you know, it stays cool. I'd like to know how much these houses are though. These seem to be a little more affordable. Also, as you can see, probably a little safer when it comes to flooding, because this right here, is up one level and then there's another level on the top so not much of an issue all you've got to do is own a boat and that looks a bit like a boat so you see this one right here this is something you want to avoid if you live next to a lot of water because if you are flooded you are flooded there's nothing you can do about it Right, so here what we have is an empty plot of land. And there used to be a house right there, but unfortunately it's not there anymore because these guys were abducted by aliens. And something happened to the UFO that was abducting them. Some sort of malfunction with the beam, and it took the house with them. 
And right here what we have is a view of the water, which is nice. Pretty sure they can see over this tree line, but it's a little annoying that it's there because otherwise they'd have a pretty good view in all the house. Ah, right, so I completely forgot, but this right here is a whole bunch of trees. It's not just a simple tree line. I'd like to explore that without exploring it, if you know what I mean. Maybe watch a video of somebody jumping into that. Well, not jumping into it, but like walking around it and sort of showing you what is going on. Right, well, anyway, very nice area. Why is this guy's pool green? Oh, look at that. That just doesn't seem very safe to me for some reason. Wow, what's this guy got on the back of that? What is that? Some sort of conservatory. Some sort of greenhouse. That's cool. Wonder what he grows inside there. Ah, most of these houses have them. Alright, so now what I'll do is... Um, I kind of want to check out this place over here just to see what is going on. Seems like it might just sort of be quite a similar sort of a place. That's unusual. Stairs to the top. Is that a house? Not sure, but I think it might be. Because all the rest of these seem to be houses. And here we have another one of these. Very nice place. I say that every time, but this time I mean it. Only joking. No, I do mean it, but I mean that about the other places too. But yeah, uh, one day maybe I'll visit. Maybe I won't. Maybe by the time I do visit, this will all be underwater. Or most of it. Hopefully not though. Anyway, thanking you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Don't know why I do that accent, but yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.